The new aftermarket part, the Jack Limb Ripper, is an underbarrel chainsaw. So let's go see if it's any good in zombies. And as always, to test this out, we'll be using it against all three tiers of zombies, Omega Abomination and the Stormcaller. So let's take it for a spin. How's this doing against a tier one zombie? Oh, it killed it pretty fast. It's not necessarily a one hit, but you just got to hold it on them for a second. But this has been the aftermarket part that I've been the most excited for. It's just such a fun concept. And I played a lot of Gears of War growing up, so it's pretty nostalgic for me, honestly. I just hope that it's good. Because either going to be really good and deal some nasty damage, or it might be terrible. I guess we'll find out. But what I'm noticing right off the bat is this isn't like the Jack Purifier, the flamethrower underbarrel. That thing had like ammo to it, like almost uh, fuel. This doesn't need like any gasoline or anything. So I'm happy about that. I'm glad we don't have to go to ammo stations and refuel this every few times we use it. But since we're going to be getting up close and personal with a lot of zombies today, I went ahead and activated my golden armor plates. So I have a feeling our armor is going to be breaking a lot. Now, how's this doing against some tier two zombies? Oh, not the most damage. It can still take them out. And it looks like it kind of stuns them once you start hitting them with it. Like they're not really swinging back at me the second this thing is touching them. That's actually really nice. It like immobilizes them. But once I activate it and it starts hitting a zombie, I can't really move at all. Like I can't really look left and right. So once it's in there, it's in there. But it don't seem too bad. The damage isn't anything crazy, but I'm sure it'll get better once we pack a punch and upgrade it. All right, how's this doing against a tier three zombie? Let's throw a decoy first for our own safety and let's get the slicing. Oh, uh, it's doing damage. Like you can probably take out a tier three zombie with this. If you had uh, enough decoys or aether shroud to get through it without dying. But I'm getting the hell out of here before these guys kill me. But now that we've tested it against all three tiers of zombies, let's go ahead and upgrade it to epic and get it to pack two. What's it doing now? Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it changed very much. That's disappointing. Maybe it's just because I got, I got pack a punch two. Maybe we're going to need pack three to up the damage on it. What is it doing against these tier two zombies now that it's pack two? Seems to be killing a bit faster. Ooh, hold on. Let me get away from these guys. There's too many tier threes chasing me. I hear some lucky zombies. Eh, it looks like it's killing about as fast as it did in tier one. But we got to build our way up to pack a punch three. So let's try this out against some bounties. All right, come here, Mangler. What is this doing to you? Uh, not really getting through armor. It doesn't seem to like armor very much. But can it break it? This uh, might not be the best. Wait, we got his helmet broke. He's got to hit him in the head a bit. I just got to keep jumping. Come on. Let me give you a nice haircut. Free of charge. Actually, no, I will charge you. I get paid for your death. And it doesn't seem to stun the elites either. The, the normal zombies, they get stunned. This guy does not. Almost there. We got him. Woo. That took way longer than it needed to. But we got to keep doing these bounties. We got money to make. Right, give me something different besides a mangler this time. A disciple. That actually might be worse. But if we're not doing enough damage to this guy, he can take all of his health back so fast and he's going to be moving around all over the place. Can we even stop him from healing? Oh, we can. Just got to jump at it a little bit. And I don't think we can break his mask without shooting it. He's way too high up there. Oh, now we got two disciples. Nice of you to join me. They're just sitting here spawning zombies. Come on, guys. Why don't you give me a break? Let's throw a decoy and mm, we can climb up on this. This will make it a little bit easier. Stop them from healing. Can we break that mask? There we go. We got it broken. It's doing a little bit of damage now. A slight amount. Don't you move. You stay over here. Don't you walk away from me. And now I can't even hit him. Oh, what the fuck? Stop healing. Oh, he's already all the way back up to full health. This is going to be a struggle. If it was just a pure 1v1, I think we might be able to take him. Actually, you know what? Fuck him. I'm throwing on dead wire. We'll see if the, the ammo mod weakness helps. We got a little bit of his health down. Stop healing. Got him right away. Perfect. Now we're, we're cooking with oil. Now we're cutting with chainsaws. Jeez. I have this pressed against his face. Now we finally got him to half health. Oh... Broke his posture. Oh, stopped him from healing right away. I think we got it. Come on. Right here should do it. <laughs> it's almost there. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was so easy. It's like no time at all. This thing's ridiculous, man. And we still need to do like two more of those just to get enough to get pack three. All right, give me a mimic. We got to try this against the trifecta of elites. Nope, another mangler. Okay. See you later, bitch. Come on, give me a mimic. Oh, let's go. There he is. Come on outside. 
Let's see you in the light. What's this doing to you? You don't got any armor to protect you. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, and he can swing a lot faster than a mangler can. I'm still not that impressed with it. Because we're hitting him right in the crit spot the entire time, too. We're just chainsawing his mouth. We're giving him a root canal. He's so close to death. Just eat it. There you go. Give me that pack of punch three. Now, how's this doing against tier three zombies now? Uh, still takes a, a second to kill him. What about the armored zombies? It cut through his armor pretty fast, but he did not die. This is about to be the worst fight of our lives. Come here, Mega Bomb. What's this doing against you? Shoot that laser to start. Perfect. Get to see what this does. Critical damage wise, we still have to jump up. Because dude is way too tall. Oh no, let's not go down here. No going down. No, 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 no. Don't need to go. Don't need to go down. Don't need none of that. How much damage did we do? Whew, barely any. Oh, we're going to be seeing a lot of each other up close today. Abomination, that's for sure. There you go. Shoot that laser. Oh, he just ate my decoy that I threw. What the fuck are you doing? Leave that alone, nasty ass. You don't know where that's been. We almost can't even fight him unless we have an active decoy. What's your health? Oh, this sucks. This is bad. Come on, just open up for me. Oh, fuck. I don't know if we can kill him. I really don't think we can. I'm at least going to try to break one of his faces. But we might be doing the same amount of damage as our fists would. And we only got 10 minutes left until the storm starts coming in. It'll be a miracle if we can kill him. This might be the worst possible weapon to use against a mega abomination. We're almost better off waiting for him to die of old age. His health has barely gone down at all. It's to the T in his name. Come on. I just want one face to break. There you go. Help me out here. Oh, I made him eat another decoy. You cocksucker, dude. I only get two of those every minute. We got a fully armored zombie right here that's not moving. And we took it out kind of quickly. I think that was all napalm burst because against these other zombies, holy shit. It wasn't doing a whole lot. But the lunge for it just kept skipping between two zombies. Almost gave my operator a concussion. Oh, did I break one? I saw a lot of blood. Nope. That might have been my blood. I will go until final exfil if I have to. I just need one of these heads to be gone. Come on, just a little head. Just give me a little bit of top. This is so stupid. There's another laser. Perfect. I'm really focusing on the right head here. All right, now you're just being a dick. There's only a minute left till the storm comes. You can't let me get one. I'm being clowned on. This is him getting payback on me for beating his ass with every weapon in the game. He's not going to let me get this one. He's getting revenge for his whole bloodline. So how about that weather abomination? Oh shit, speaking of weather. Oh, we got it! Let's go! We got a face! You know what? I'll just keep fighting him until the storm's over here. Maybe we have a chance now. That's one down, two to go. Oh no, the storm's almost here. Oh, it's over. Just a, a last little bit of damage before we leave. Oh, man. Actually, does he even really change much in the storm? I can fight you forever over here. We got we got a ammo refill. We're fine. Oh, no, he fully healed. Whatever. Fuck you, dude. Enjoy your two-faced having ass. Bitch, fuck you. I ran out of brain power. We're going to have to get out of here and come back in and try it against the storm caller. All right, this time around, I'm going a bit overkill. I brought in a legendary Aether tool and a pack three crystal. And I also changed up the build a bit so my movement speeds a bit faster. All right, I had to go do a few contracts that way I could afford my perks. Now we're ready to take on the storm caller. Where are you at, pal? Let's Aether Shroud right away. Why don't you stay still so I can hit you? And what's this doing against you? Is the legendary Aether tool helping at all? Not helping me stay alive, that's for sure. Can you zombies all like go in a different direction? Away from the storm caller, that'd be great. Actually, you know what? Have a monkey bomb. That'll keep him distracted for a little bit. Oh, we actually did a decent amount of damage to him so far. Just gotta keep it up. Now, fuck off, zombies. You come here. I got business with you. But if we couldn't take out that mega bomb, I'm not that much more confident that we can take this guy out. Especially because I can't seem to stop him from healing. There we go. No way. No way. Why didn't you guys chase the decoy? We got one left. Oh, jeez. Immediate death. How many self-revives do I have? 
Uh, one more. Cool. This is going well. Stop healing, you big bitch. This actually might be impossible. All these zombies need to go. I'm air striking them. Suck a dick. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, if I can't get any decent damage on this attempt right here, then I'm going to chalk this up to a loss. Like, we had a good amount of it right at the start, but I can't consistently do a lot of damage. And these zombies just keep fucking me up. There's not enough decoys in the world to keep them away. And I don't have another self-revive. I'm just going to Aether Shroud at them, use these two decoys, and we'll see what's up. Never mind. Never mind. I give up. All right, you win. Psych. Back for round two. Just stay still and let me hit you. Stop moving. Ah, oh, fuck you. Actually, I'm done. We barely did any damage to him. I think I burned through like four self-revives. And I ain't got no more decoys. Okay, we might not have been able to take out the Stormcaller, but I think we can still take out a Mega Abomination. Is this even doing more damage than it did last time? Does the Legendary Aether Tool have any effect on this? So I felt like I was doing more damage to the zombies after we pack-a-punched it and upgraded it compared to what it was default. But I don't know if it's doing a whole lot here. I don't think the Mega Abomination cares that much about it. Oh, we got one. Let's go. The same one as before. Oh, and now we have a team coming to help. Come on, guys. I'm a... Okay, no, I'm not a big man. I couldn't even finish saying it before going down. I guess I did need some help. And he's dead. I'm going to drop the Legendary Aether Tool. Don't mind if I do. That's two that I found in this game. Dose. Appreciate you guys. We got way too close to killing them before. I'm determined. We're going to get it done. I will take a Mega Abomination down with this chainsaw. It just might take a while, but we got 25 minutes till the storm even gets here. I got all the time in the world. Oh, we broke his face. Let's go. Yeah, shoot that laser again. You fucking idiot. Clown. Imbecile. Oh, wait. We got him constantly lasering. Hold on. New strat. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh, we got this figured out. Okay, now he's he's rushing us. That was sick, though. He got three lasers in a row and just let us... Oh, nope, he's back to it. I couldn't even finish saying it. This is sick. Do it again. Yeah. This is the new strat for taking down Omega Bomb. We figured it out. I don't know how we got him to do this. But this is the fountain of youth right here. He ain't touching us. <laughs> this is dumb. All my anguish, all my pain is finally paying off. This is so stupid. Why is this working? I am the Mega Abomination Whisperer. He's about to die. He's close. We just got to keep this chainsaw on him. Oh, broke the middle face. Can we still keep him doing it with just the one? Oh, we can. Down to one face, pal. What are you going to do with it? He's shot in like 40 lasers in a row. Zombie, don't ruin this for me. Oh, no. We got him out of his spot. Oh, stupid zombie. Messed everything up. Well, I guess he's still doing it without me even being in that spot. We just got a dumb mega bomb. Oh, and he can fly. He knows plenty of tricks. You got to be tired of getting your ass beat like this. Just give up. Go to the light. Another laser. I wonder how many lasers he shot in this fight. It is way more than normal. Oh, he's a squirter. He's still going. This should be it right here. Come on. Sit down. Let's go. We got one. Woo. Kill one mega abomination with the recommended weapon. And we did it in the worst way possible. That was a struggle. How long was I fighting him for? My voice is even cracking. I can't believe it. I don't think we're ever going to get that lucky again. But just to press our luck, I'm going to see if I can get him to respawn. And I want to see if I can recreate that laser loop we had him in. All right, we got our boy to respawn. He's in the fountain. Shoot that laser. Come over here and shoot a laser. There you go. That's one by Aether Shrouded. So did he even know I was even over here? Oh, we got him again. So this could be a thing. And all the zombies are throwing meat at me in here. Keep your meat to yourself. I got one more self-revive to try this on. Yeah, he's shooting another laser. Okay, good to know. 
You can get like infinite crits on them. I think I proved what this thing can do. I need to get out of here. One more thing I forgot to mention about this attachment is you don't have to switch your firing type just to bring out the chainsaw. And I didn't think about this because I always run throwing knives. And if you go to melee while a throwing knife is your lethal, you just melee with the throwing knife. But if you just melee with the weapon, you can hit the zombies like this. Which I don't know if that's any better or not. So let's go ahead and test it really quick. That was the tier one zombies seem to be like a two shot kill. One, two. This is against tier two zombies. Gonna take a few extra swings. I don't think this is uh, more viable than actually just bringing this out. I think this might do a bit more. So at least you get the stun on them. And this is against tier three zombies. Yeah, it's not doing that much more. Oh, what about after you upgrade it and pack a punch it? Yeah, I think it still does the same amount of damage. But when you use it like this, it kills them way faster. So I don't think we missed out on a whole lot not using that. But I thought I'd mention it and show you guys what it can do. Anyways, back to whatever the hell I was talking about. So overall review of this chainsaw underbarrel part. Being 100% honest, it's not very good. Uh, if you get it like fully pack-a-punched and you bring it into like the tier 2 and tier 1 zones, you can kind of bully zombies around. But only if they're like in smaller groups. Like this big group here in the x -fill, if I was just sitting here holding this, trying to take out just like, I don't know, a good amount of them, I'm going to get slapped. I'm going to get killed. Like I wouldn't really recommend using this if you're trying to go into the Dark Aether, if you're trying to take out a Mega Abomination. But I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't fun to use. Like it, it's not very good, like at all. But this might be one of my favorite aftermarket parts. And I'm so glad I came back to record because I was about to start editing this and I'm like, no. I got to try to fight this mega abomination one more time and might have taken us finding a little exploit with them, getting the laser loop, which I'm patenting that I, I have founded this unless somebody else found it before me, but that, that's impossible in my head canon. I made it. I really like this aftermarket part a lot. Just wish it was a little stronger and it would definitely help if they threw in some Gears of War operator collabs. Like we get Marcus Phoenix in here or one of the car mines and we could have a Lancer and then maybe buff it a bit. That'd be sweet. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.